In 2008, the Zoological Society of London realised that conservation initiatives weren't always targeted at the species that most needed them. That's why they created the Edge of Existence programme, with the aim of identifying which species were most in need of conservation action and carrying out interventions to protect them. Today, its actions cover 157 species in 47 countries in Latin America, Africa and Asia. It's really a, a result of academics being given the space to exercise their ideas, um, but also coming together with applied conservationists to uh, come up with an idea to protect these species. So we, we look at evolutionary distinctiveness, um, so really how unique a species is, um, whether it uh, has many close relatives, we're looking for species which, which don't, which are truly unique. Um, and then we combine that with their score of global endangerment, um, so how threatened they are. And combining those two scores together, um, we're able to prioritise species based on those things. One of the keys to Edge of Existence is to support conservation actors in the countries where edge species are from. That's why they fund conservation professionals through a grant programme to design and implement a project focused on one of these species. In the past 15 years, the programme has funded 137 people from 47 countries on three continents. Conservation is, is incredibly hard. It's incredibly complex. And one of the reasons it becomes incredibly complex is because no matter what you do, whatever actions you do, whatever strategy you have, um, whatever project you're trying to implement, it inevitably sits on top of some very complicated social and political settings. And so no matter what you do, it becomes entwined with these social and political settings. And really to be able to navigate those kind of things, you need to be from the place where conservation is happening. In this way, the programme is transformative not only for the species they help, but also for the people they train and support. 100% of the programme's fellows continue to work in conservation after going through the programme, and 80% are still working on the species with which they applied for the scholarship. The most important, I think, outcome of this programme is how it's able to change people's careers in terms of giving them the needed capacity, um, but also in terms of enabling them uh, with the project funding to do projects that otherwise would not have been accomplished. As unknown as they are unique, some of these species have become ambassadors of their own endangered status. For example, the Taylor salamander lives in a Mexican lagoon so salty and alkaline that it's difficult to reproduce in captivity, but its striking appearance has led to numerous media reports. The image of the Mary River punk turtle has gone around the world and the media attention given to the gharial, whose population has been drastically reduced over the last century, in part due to fishing for traditional medicine, could help conserve it. So edge species are unique and overlooked species and they need to be preserved because once they're gone there is nothing left in, that looks like them in the world. Um, and biodiversity, we wouldn't have anything that we currently have if we didn't have biodiversity. So they need to be preserved for us and for future generations. We have one fellow, uh, his name is Sandeep Das, who is working on the purple frog in, in Western Ghats. So, uh, like, uh, because of his work, because of his, you know, this, this AIDS fellowship, you know, uh, the, 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 the species that was endangered now has been downlisted to vulnerable. And uh, even in the, in the state, in, in the country like India, where uh, well, all the major species like tigers and rhinos were you know, prioritized. He has been able to kind of you know, instrumental in bringing that purple frog into highlight. The Edge of Existence program has achieved a great deal of outreach over the past 15 years. However, in a context where biodiversity loss is accelerating at an unprecedented rate, the Edge team is determined to further expand the number of fellows and unique species to support. I think it's no great secret that we're in the midst of a uh, a mass extinction event and climate change is exacerbating that problem. But the other issue we have is where do we direct money, where do we direct our time, our investment, our resources, and EDGE is a way to create efficiency within that. It's not possible to fund everything, but this is a way to fund the things and support the projects and the people that have the maximum impact over the coming years.